robotic surgery generally it is called robotic assisted surgery so now all the complex uh, operating procedure can be done with the more precision and they can see better during surgery so all the difficult step they can able to tackle easily with the robo robo it is like a fine um, instruments uh, introduced with the minimal small incision i introduce into the patient's abdomen and what are the movement i am doing outside with the console it is done by the robo inside so i am not connected with the patient directly i am connecting through the console so the console is operating the robotic arm inside the patient body so basically a uh, surgeon is the master here and what is uh, the hand movement i am doing the robo is replicating without any delay uh, without any tremor and uh, the instrument is usually the open surgery instrument or laparoscopic instruments are a rigid instrument it is not a flexible tip but the robotic hand instrument is like our hand so it has a two three level of uh, joint is there so it is like a hand movement you know movement inside the patient body so that i can do all the uh, delicate uh, complex surgery in a very precise manner so i can say yes it is better than uh, open or laparoscopic surgery so here i can say all the human error is being uh, obliterated by the robotic instruments you know vision is so nice active 3d view what i'm getting so i can identify the plane well so i can do easily so any lymph node dissection cancer clearance i can do it in a better way with a robotic surgery the concept of treating uh, example esophagus cancer olden days it is only radiotherapy and chemotherapy because surgeons are afraid of doing surgery inside the chest if you open the chest the patient will be in ventilator for long time uh, so the mortality rate is increased the more precise way of doing surgery has come like laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery uh, the surgeon learns how to go inside the chest and do, doing the surgery without opening the chest then our next step is a clearance of cancer so everything can be done well with a robotic surgery nowadays so the concept has changed from radiotherapy chemotherapy to surgery so any gi cancer nowadays surgery is the main stay of treatment cancer uh, usually is spread through the lymph nodes and then surrounding tissue so everything can be removed uh, by a laparoscopy or robotic surgery the lymph node clearance the we used to call lymph node harvesting uh, that is the main stay of uh, uh, tumor free uh, that is a cancer free survival and uh, if you are how much lymph node you are taking when you are doing a stomach cancer or esophagus cancer or colon cancer nowadays we do d3 lymph node dissection so the uh, quality of life uh, is better because of uh, minimal invasive surgery and uh, cancer clearance Uh, is given better way because of experience of the surgeons and the availability of the equipment and instruments uh, so that cancer free survival we can give almost in most of the patient any patients if you tell uh, after the test you have cancer uh, they will so much depressed because it is called killing disease so you cannot cure the cancer so this is the thing in our mind so all the olden movies there's uh, you know showing like this so it was you know fixed in the mind so nowadays it is not like this so all the difficult area inside the abdomen uh, we can able to go well with all the available equipment uh, if it is a early cancer it is a 100% curable even some uh, stage 4 cancer it's curable and most of the stage 3 cancer is also nowadays it is a curable one so there is no need for a fear of cancer and even uh, cancer is advancing cancer after surgery the patient required uh, uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy if a stage 1 and 2 is most of the time surgery is enough and uh, more than stage 2 then the patient required chemotherapy or radiotherapy so that's why it is called uh, multidisciplinary team 
So along with me, my colleague surgeon will be there and then uh, radiation oncologist will be there, medical oncologist, pathologist, radiologist and a nutritionist. So all uh, the team is taking care of the surgeon. So it is like uh, I can see the cancer in a 360 degree view. We used to call multimodal treatment. So we approach the cancer in all the direction so that we can able to win the cure the cancer and we can able to give the uh, cancer free survival for the patient. We started uh, doing cancer surgery, laparoscopic surgery by our professor, uh, Chief Dr. Palnivelu sir. We do all type of uh, cancer surgery from esophagus, stomach, uh, colon, pancreas, liver, rectum. So all uh, organ cancer surgery we do laparoscopically. And we have achieved a very good result. And some of our technique is popularized the entire world and we get almost all the association uh, will appreciate our work. Uh, so we published our work also. Uh, so uh, even though we got so many more than 25 years experience in laparoscopic surgery, uh, we feel robotic uh, will give uh, one more uh, step ahead of laparoscopic surgery. So I can say, uh, even though I am a laparoscopic surgeon for a long time, and uh, my uh, choice of doing a cancer surgery nowadays is a robotic surgery.